what I've been working on today is uh, doing some epoxying to tidy up these joints and things. So this is the um, this is the joint on the uh, on the frame. I don't know if you can really see. I've got a layer of epoxy on it. Um, smooths it over so it hasn't been sanded at all yet but you can see it's tidied it up quite well um, actually what I'm using is these uh, is this um, two-part epoxy paste uh, it's a quite a thick paste and it has takes about 24 hours for it to harden um, but it bonds really really well it's an epoxy bond and you can shape it and file it and uh, sand it and things. And it's nice, it ha it's quite thick so you can shape it and it has about a 45 minute working life. Um, so you can, uh, you can fill things quite well with it and it's a very strong bond. Um, you wouldn't finish with this but, uh, but it's a good way to, to fill it and, um, and get the shape you want. And you can see I've also been working on the, uh, on the headlamp shell. So, um, so here's where that hole was and I've uh, I'd brazed that uh, uh, bolt into the back and I've now filled it with, uh, with epoxy. The bolt's in and it's wrapped in PTFE tape so hopefully I can unscrew it and that way I don't get any of the epoxy down in the threads and we'll see, see how that works. And, but I wanted to leave it raised slightly because on this side if you look at it I don't think you really see that but the um, the shell is slightly uh, shaped around the bolt so that it's uh, it's parallel rather than on an angle. So I want to try and give that same effect on this side. Um, so we'll wait until tomorrow and then I'll have a go at shaping that up and see see how it uh, see how it looks. See if I can get the bolt out. And I'm about to work on the uh, on the side panel. You can see it's very nastily dented and damaged so I've stripped it off and sanded it and I'm effectively going to put a layer of the epoxy over pretty much the whole thing certainly from around here onwards. Um, I've sunk all these down a little bit so that uh, so that I should be able to get a layer of epoxy and then flat all of that and then some um, some Bondo body filler on top of that should uh, should do the trick. So I'll um, I'll show you what this looks like after it's been uh, after it's been epoxied, and hopefully I'm not covered too too badly in it. Okay, well I've mixed up the uh, the epoxy. You can see this is the consistency of it. It's quite thick and pasty rather than like um, like bondo, like a body filler. It's quite a thick uh, paste. You can see. Um, and uh, I'm going to have a go. At Trying to fill this lot. So start spreading it on there. Trusty credit card. You see, it smooths out quite well. A hole there.
on there. I think I'm going to stop at that. Um, because if I fiddle with it anymore, I'll just make it worse. One of the interesting things about this epoxy thing is that if you wet your finger, you can kind of smooth it out a bit. Seems to work quite well. There's going to be quite a lot of sanding to do here. Yeah? But I can use the, uh, the electric sander. And this will have to be done in one go. That already looks better. You can uh, see that's, that's gone on pretty well. Well, um, which is the stuff? A PC7. It's not cheap, it's about well, it's about twelve pounds for a for a pound of it, um, but I'm very impressed with it. Um, so yeah, I'll leave that to uh, to harden overnight, and then um, we'll get the sander onto it tomorrow and see what kind of mess it's in. And I'll see you then. Well, today I've been working on uh, doing the sanding and. Uh, prepping of the side panel and the headlamp rim. You can see the headlamp rim. Horrible brazed area is now looking uh, a lot more respectable and I've kind of sculpted that a bit so that it has a profile on it, hopefully similar to this side. It's all stripped and um, ready to be primed actually. I've also been working on the uh, horribly battered uh, side panel that's looking a lot better um, actually working on tidying the top up of it at the moment you can see that's coming up all right so a lot more sanding to do there tomorrow um, and then the frame i put some epoxy filler onto that and that's looking quite respectable now it's certainly uh, certainly looking better than it was Oh, and the other thing that I've done today is um, tidied up the wheels and uh, brakes, so they're looking quite respectable. So they're all ready to go back together. So I'm going to knock it on the head for the day now. And um, tomorrow, come back and uh, carry on trying to work on this... Um, on this side panel and uh, see where we go from there.